Hillary Clinton finally on Capitol Hill for a public hearing four months after the Benghazi attacks. A much-awaited appearance delayed by a one-month-long illness. And after four years as Secretary of State, Mrs. Clinton first got some praise. I think we all do respect the tremendous uh, amount of hard work that you put forth over the last four years. I know all of us appreciate the... Uh, the transparency with which you talk to all of us. But the Benghazi events have cast a shadow on it all. This was a highly charged and at times emotional hearing. I stood next to President Obama as the Marines carried those flag-draped caskets off the plane at Andrews. I put my arms around the mothers and fathers, the sisters and brothers, the sons and daughters, and the wives left alone to raise their children. Then it was time for tough questions and equally tough answers. For months, Republicans have accused the administration of trying to downplay that this was an attack by Al-Qaeda militants. And we were misled that there was supposedly protests and then something sprang out of that, an assault sprang out of that. And that was easily ascertained I, that that was not the fact. But, but, and the American know, people could have known that within days, and, and they, they didn't know that. With all due respect... The fact is, we had four dead Americans. Was it because of a protest, or was it because of guys out for a walk one night who decided they'd go kill some Americans? This was one of Hillary Clinton's last high-profile public performances before she steps down as Secretary of State at the end of the month. Two hearings, almost six hours of questions and answers, but it's unclear whether Mrs. Clinton managed to convince the skeptics in Congress and the critics of this administration's foreign policy that her department and the White House did not mislead the public and did everything they could in the moment. The debate about Benghazi is likely to continue. The committee is adjourned. As Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton will not have to answer many more questions about Benghazi, but it may well come up again in the next chapter of her career. Kim Ratas, BBC News, Washington.